Today I want to tell you about the sawbuck that I built. The modification I made to it was to add this leg on here, uh, which allows you to pivot. You have this flat surface in which you could load a log onto. I'm going to load a log into there. Um, it's harder to get it up. It's like two feet to get it up over this. So this way you could slide it in there and then we could just lock her in. What that does is it gives you about an extra foot of height with a heavy log. Um, it can make the difference. It makes it easier to load and uh, gives you a little bit of a one foot lift. Uh, or really you're getting a break when you're loading it. The spacing of this, it's every 16 inches for each chamber. So you can get your chainsaw in there. So you can just chop, chop, chop. I'll give you the basic design ideas. If you want to do this with the rotating thing, these are 60 degrees to each other. So the circle has six 60 degree slices. So here's one of them. So you'll be cutting like 30 degree angles. Just use this as a template. The important thing is here that this has to line up with the bottom of this foot. I have it upside down here. This is actually the foot that pivots as you rock back and forth. So it's important that this is cut at the right angles. So that's 90 degrees, that's 30 off. This is flush with this and those legs. It's important that they can rock back and forth. What I use is 3 8 inch bolts that are uh, four inches long, right? One and a half, one and a half, four inches. Uh, so it's 3 8 inch. So if you want to follow our journey, please subscribe.